Warner Brothers released the first trailer for Wonder Woman 1984, a sequel to 2017's standalone Wonder Woman movie from DC Comics. Here's a breakdown of all the characters in the trailer, who they are, and what we know about them. Plus, an explanation of a few key Easter eggs. As one could infer from the title, the film takes place in the year 1984, and introduces us to several characters we haven't seen before. Let's start with the most surprising reveal of the trailer, the reappearance of Chris Pine's character Steve Trevor. The last time we saw Steve was at the end of the original Wonder Woman film, when he sacrificed himself, detonating gas explosives on a plane that he was piloting in order to keep them out of the hands of the Germans. So it's quite startling to see him in the trailer, especially because he appears not to have aged at all, despite the fact that roughly 70 years have passed since the events of the first film. Overall, Steve Trevor's apparent resurrection seems a bit fishy, and there are a couple of theories as to the source of his reemergence. One is that the Steve Trevor we see in the trailer is actually Martian Manhunter, a member of the Justice League with shape-shifting powers. While this theory is possible, we don't think it's as likely as the second big theory about Steve, that his improbable return is due to Wonder Woman being under some sort of mind control from one of the movie's new characters, Maxwell Lord, played by Pedro Pascal. In the comics, Maxwell Lord is an ambitious businessman that helped form the Justice League International, first appearing in Justice League No. 1 from 1987. However, it was slowly revealed that Lord was actually villainous and aspired to kill members of the Justice League. His ambitions became much more realistic when he discovered that he had extremely powerful mind control abilities. This leads us back to what we alluded to earlier, about Steve Trevor's reappearance possibly being a result of Maxwell Lord putting Wonder Woman under mind control. In the trailer, he says the following lines. Think about finally having everything you always wanted. No, I take what I want in return. So it would seem that Diana is making some sort of deal with Lord in order to get Steve back but Lord might be just using his mind control abilities to manipulate her. The other new character revealed in the trailer is Barbara Ann Minerva, played by Kristen Wiig. In the comics, this character is an archaeologist, searching for a fabled lost city. After finding the city and encountering the god who dwells within, Barbara Ann is transformed into a deadly supervillain, Cheetah. Cheetah is typically depicted as possessing immensely enhanced strength and reflexes. She's an extremely formidable enemy, having been shown to have strength comparable to Superman, fast enough to hit the Flash, and claws sharp enough to pierce bulletproof skin. Cheetah's fearsome powers might be one of the reasons that we see Wonder Woman's striking new outfit, her Golden Eagle armor. In the comics, the suit boosts Wonder Woman's strength and durability, while also granting her the ability to fly, which seems to also be the case in the new movie, as we're given a quick glimpse of the suit's wings. The suit of armor was first introduced in 1996's Kingdom Come issue number 3. It was created in Wonder Woman's home of Themyscira, which is maybe why we get a couple of glimpses of the island in the trailer. However, these are most likely flashbacks, because Diana isn't allowed to return to Themyscira, and it seems that the shot of the young girl running alongside other Amazonians is in fact young Diana. In addition to the several exciting new characters that were introduced in the trailer, there are also a couple of easter eggs. To start off, we have to talk about that shot of Wonder Woman swinging from lightning. While the swinging is new, Wonder Woman has been depicted in the comics as being able to ride lightning. Canonically, this ability makes sense because she's the daughter of Zeus. Next, we have a callback to the watch that Steve Trevor gave to Diana right before he sacrificed himself in the original movie. The trailer shows that Diana has kept his watch, and a photo of him, for all the years that have passed since he died. In the trailer, Steve reveals himself to Diana by placing a new digital watch in her hand, symbolizing his return. There's also a photo at Trevor's ranch. It seems that Diana likely visited Steve's family. The trailer also shows Diana and Steve riding in a plane. We have a feeling it may be a sneak peek at Wonder Woman's iconic invisible jet. Diana and Steve visit the famous Hershorn Museum at the end of the trailer. In previous movies, Diana works as a museum curator so it would make sense that Diana and archaeologist Barbara Ann initially appear to be friends. Politics seems to be an aspect of the film as well, as we see Wonder Woman fighting assailants in the White House. The United States was involved in the Soviet-Afghan War, which was still ongoing during 1984, and it looks like part of the film will also take place in Afghanistan. Lastly, we see a brief shot of a satellite dish, 
This could be a reference to Brother Eye, a surveillance system initially created by Batman to monitor superhuman activity on Earth. At one point in the comics, Lord takes control of the system. The name comes from Big Brother in George Orwell's classic novel, 1984, making it all the more likely since the movie is also set in 1984. Was there anything we missed? Let us know in the comments.